Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrinceandTrader.com, here with your Monday morning market webcast. Okay, uh, on the heels of what might have been the most boring Super Bowl on record, less three plays, we all wake up this morning and 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 move on. Um, congrats to the Pats. Just congrats. Um, I, I as a neutral, I was looking for a, a dramatically better game. All right, on to the market. Um, daily chart. So we jammed in it around the 100 day and the 50 day for a good five, six, seven sessions. It made its move over the 100, and now we're just kind of consolidating. Whether you want to say we're consolidating around 2700, whether you want to say we're consolidating around the 200 day uh, exponential on the continuation chart, our, our high. Uh, uh, 2716, that doesn't quite get us up into the the total area of, um, you know, the 2697 is your continuation 200 day, 2727 is the front month 200 day, both of those are exponential. So you're talking about a 30 handle range. My, my thought has been, we need to go test these areas. We've been trading below them for nine years. I mean, we got to go take a look. We're here, but we're not totally here. We're here when we really start to jam. And I, I guess you can say that we are. I'll feel better after we do a full test of the upper, 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 you know, reaches of that area. Call it 27. But we've done 16. It's come back. It's tried to hold the round number 2700 overnight in the futures. And we're just kind of jammed in here. And you, you can really see that when you go to the hourly chart. I mean, we're compressed. We were compressed all day Friday, so this is not this is nothing new. Um, so it was a solid it was a solid uh, it's a solid Friday for us. We weren't looking to do a whole hell of a lot. We did about nine handles that wrapped up the week at about that wrapped up the week. And I don't do this to brag. I do this because I get emails asking me these questions. That that wrapped up the week at about 68 handles. <clears throat> so, you know, solid week for us. We try to get 20 in a week and we did better than that. And we try to get four in a day and we did better than that. But we didn't do a whole heck of a lot Friday because we really just started, you know, jamming around and cranking around and doing some really big hourly candles and it got a little bit whippy. So do we continue to compress into the regular session today? Maybe, although this stuff is only going to last so long and then we're going to get a resolution. So I'm a little encouraged as I sit down this morning and say, okay, you know, we're going to get some volatility this week. We're going to get a move. We're going to get a move because that right there in the hourly is not sustainable. Maybe it's today, maybe it's tomorrow, but we're going to get a move. You see the weekly pivot down at 2680, basically 2681. Um, you know, I'm always, <clears throat> I'm always curious in compression situations that compress, you know, 10, 15, 20 handles in and above a brand spanking new weekly pivot, whether we need to go take a look. And the hourly mid band and the daily pivot, so your purple dotted line is your daily pivot, hourly mid band is just underneath, you know, right in that 2704, 2705 area. You, you, you've got, and then you've got, you've got volume weighted average price sitting there, or proprietary moving, everything is sitting at about 05. So, you know, when we start trading in 27 minutes, that's, that's kind of a bull bear line for me. If we can't get over the top of 85, I want to be long above 80, uh, I, I want to be long above 2705. I want to be short below 2705. That, 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 you know, I want that to be my risk marker in either direction with whatever this thing wants to do. Now, what's door number three, Monty? Well, door number three is we do neither. And we just keep jamming in and around, just call it, you know, 2702 to 2708. And if we do that, well, then I'm going to grab coffee and hang out and we're going to wait until this compression resolves. So uh, watch 05. Okay. Everybody have a fantastic day. Um, there'll be more stuff out on social. You got to follow us there. You got to follow us on Instagram because 920 every morning we go live on the Instagram account. We do the pre-market run up and, um, you know, we've been getting a lot of great feedback with that. I got Tony Rago who does the NQ stuff for us all day. He joins us on the split screen, talks about NQ. It's fantastic. So come and check that out if you haven't already. Come check us out. If you, 
you know, if you trade this stuff, if you want to learn how to trade this stuff, it's a great community. There's a ton of new people. You'll be learning along with them, and I think you'll like what you find. So have a fantastic day. Trade them well, and I'll talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.